Well, morning, folks. Uh, welcome to Coffee with Joe. Although I, I have to say, actually, it, it's it's not morning. Um, it's the afternoon. And I do apologize for this being so late. I went down and recorded it. And then I realized that I'd recorded it wrongly. Um, so I was so frustrating. But be now, uh, here we are. It's chucking it down rain again in this wonderful Sydney summer. But we're going to turn to chapter 27, which is Job's final word to his friends. Now, I want to preface this by talking about our search for meaning and why we need wisdom and we need to understand things in order to live. Sinclair Ferguson says this, unless you become familiar with the wisdom of God, you cannot make much progress in the Christian life. We all need wisdom to cope, to discern what is happening to us, what is right and what is wrong and how we should act. And Job here, there's the idea of a passionate discourse with God, passionate searching for God. This is passionate, passionate theology. He, you know, we need to think large thoughts about God, creation and humanity, so we get our context right. You'll notice that Job's friends have not spoken to God di directly. Now contrast that with Job himself who speaks to God directly, and I think that is hugely significant. But let's read chapter 27, verses 1 to 6. Job continued his discourse. As surely as God lives, who has denied me justice, the Almighty who has made my life bitter. As long as I have life within me, the breath of God in my nostrils, my lips will not say anything wicked, and my tongue will not utter lies. I will never admit you are in the right. Till I die, I will not deny my integrity. I will maintain my innocence and never let go of it. My conscience will not reproach me as long as I live. That's an extraordinary passage, like so much of Job. I will never speak wickedness. Now, those of you who are Christians, we would expect a Christian to say, I am a sinner. We would expect to be like Isaiah, woe is me, for I'm a man of unclean lips and I live amongst the people of unclean lips. But to say, I won't speak wickedness, and to maintain his own righteousness, I will maintain my innocence, and never let go of it, my conscience will not reproach me. Is, is Job wrong? Well, I don't think so. I think this is a personal resolve not to sin. His wife had urged him not to hold on to his integrity and to curse God and die. In other words, to give up belief in the God of justice and love. And Job here is, he's resolving not to speak wickedness, but, and I think in that he's resolving not to say bad things about God. And I think that is really important. The devil is always tempting us to say things about God and to doubt and to accuse and to attack and to fear. You know, I, I just so depressed listening to the news from the UK with all the nonsense from the UK government and then the Scottish government, the same thing. So much of it, so depressing. You know, the government putting explicit sex questionnaires to children, questions which Nicola Sturgeon herself would refuse to answer or Boris Johnson with the hypocrisy that's going on there. And then I look at the state of Australian politics, which is so nasty and vicious, or American politics, which an incompetent in charge of the White House. It's, it's just so depressingly foolish. And I look at all, all of that and, do you know, people want to blame God. And here's one thing I'm absolutely certain of. I am not going to speak against God. I am not going to speak against Christ. I, I listened to a depressing thing from a church, a big independent charismatic church down in Melbourne, saying we now have to listen to what's to the spirit of this age and critiquing, in effect, the Bible. And I'm going, no, no, we don't do that. And Job says, I'm absolutely not going to do that. So Job is affirming he's not a godless man or wicked and he's calling upon God despite all that's happened to him because that's all that he's got and that's all that we've got. 
But that's enough, isn't it? That is enough. So see you on Sunday for the Romans Road. See you on Monday as we return to Job chapter 27. God bless you and have a great day. What remains of it. Bye.